There was a moment of silence as they both pictured this meal. Fred Colon gave a little sigh. Butter on the slumpy? You wouldn't insult me by suggesting I'd leave it off, would you? A man could linger a long time over a meal like that, said Fred. The trouble is, the patrician all gets very short about carts parking on the streets for more than ten minutes. He reckons that's a sort of crime. Taking ten minutes to eat one of my lunches isn't a crime, Fred. It's a tragedy, said all. It says here, City Watch, $15 removal, Fred. That's a couple of days' profits, Fred. Thing is, said Fred Colon, it'll be paperwork, see? I can't just wave that away. I only wish I could. There's all them counterfoils on the spike in my office. If it was me running the watch, of course. But my hands are tied, see? The two men stood some way apart, hands in pockets, apparently paying little attention to one another. Sergeant Colon began to whistle under his breath. I know a thing or two, said Paul carefully. People think waiters ain't got ears. They know lots of stuff, said Colon, jingling his pockets change. Both men stared at the sky for a while. I may have some honey ice cream left over from yesterday. Sergeant Colon looked down at the car. Here, Mr. Jolson, he said, in a voice of absolute surprise. Some complete bastards put some kind of clamp on your wheel. Well, we'll soon see about that. Colon pulled a couple of round, white-painted paddles from his belt, sighted on the watchhouse semaphore tower, peeking over the top of the old lemonade factory, waited.